Hey, welcome back to another video. Today I just got my Acme Tools DeWalt drywall set and it actually got here really quick. They, it was back ordered, so it said two to three weeks and it got here in less than a week. So definitely enjoying that part of it. Have a drywall job coming up here in a week and I wanted to upgrade from my Senko to the 20 volt uh, DeWalt one. And uh, we'll go over a few of that, but let me, uh, let's get this unboxing going. All right, so, acmetools.com. I'll put a link up to which one I bought. It was a really, really great deal, which I posted, I think, last week. It was a 279. So, let's get all the packing material out of here. Man, this looks like a target receipt to keep going and going. And cut that. Alright, so we have DCK 301P2. It's a DeWalt three-tool combo kit. And you're gonna get the drywall screwdriver, the uh, screw gun, impact gun, and the cutout tool two 5 amp hour batteries, 8 amp hour fast charger, and the bag. So right off the bat, like I said, I know in the last video, these are 139 bucks right there. So for another $140, you get like everything else. And a lot of times I do have other people helping me out, you know, whether I'm doing drywall or whatever. So I wanted to get a couple of these to make life easier on everybody. And they do have uh, Acme Tools catalog. Obviously, you can get to the web page, but it's always nice to have a catalog. And there's some promo codes off the front here. Uh, Ten dollars off orders, seventy-five to one hundred ninety-nine. Fifteen dollars off, two hundred to two ninety-nine, and twenty-five dollars off, three hundred or more. And I've bought actually quite a bit of tools off them through the years. They always have some good deals. And it's just like anywhere you gotta you know shop around a little bit, look for the best deal for you. So let's get started here. Okay, everything comes in the bag like usual. If I get out here, it's really wedged in there. All right. All right, so a typical DeWalt bag. Okay, directions, which nobody's probably gonna read anyhow. I know I never do. Okay, got the fast charger, like I said. And I really like how fast these do charge. Obviously a fast charger, you think it would. Eight amp hour battery, I think it took me like an hour to charge one. And the two amp hour batteries, it's honestly like 20, 30 minutes, if that. Uh, I almost have to do a test just to see how long it takes, but they're really fast compared to some of the older chargers out there. Two five amp hour batteries from DeWalt. Now I'm not sure if these are the newer ones that have the newer cells in them that last longer. I'm assuming because they probably came direct from DeWalt. I know they upgraded all the cells and a lot of their batteries lately. Okay. Okay, the impact. This number is DCF887. I'm still not sure why they put an impact driver in with a drywall set. I know I said this in my last video, but yeah, it doesn't really make sense. They've been better off with an oscillating tool. Because I found that cutting drywall in certain areas with an oscillating tool works so easy. And because the blade's going back and forth like that, it doesn't create a lot of dust. And once in a while, like, obviously yeah, my cutout tool will be for like cutting for uh, receptacle boxes and things like that. But every once in a while, I just gotta trim a little bit of uh, drywall off. Instead of using the knife and going back and forth, I just hit it real quick there. Or if I have to cut out like a square or just something, out of the ordinary. The oscillating tool works really well for drywall. But uh, again, not sure why they put this in here. It seems like they're in every set. But I know people working with me will definitely enjoy having that. Make the jobs go quicker for other jobs. Again, we got the cutout tool here. Let's see here. So, these are pretty simple to use. You just press it in when you want to change the blade. Or not the blade, the, the bit, I should say. This number is DCS551. 
I have another one. The only issue I've ever had with these is when you get drywall dust down here. Every once in a while, like, it's just hard to, like, put another bit in. It seems like all the dust sticks inside of it. But they've probably changed it. Mine's, I've probably had it for, like, 10 years now. So, it's definitely shown some age. And it uh, fits around your hand nice. I don't have the biggest hands in the world. So, it does fit around nice. And uh, they have a different compound compared to mine on here. Uh, so, it actually sticks to your hand good as you're gripping it. Again, I'm sure people will enjoy that I bought this. That way they can help me out with some work. And I'll be starting some drywall next week here on one of the houses I'm doing. Doing the basements, so I'll make sure I include these in there so you can see how they perform. Other than the impact, because obviously we're not doing impact you know, screws into drywall, anything like that. Uh, I guess the only thing that could come in handy for is just reversing out screws, but again, there's a reverse on this, so it's kind of pointless to have it in there. Now, I have a Senko at home, and it's a corded Senko. The only problem with that is, again, anybody who uses corded tools, you know they get in the way, and having something that's a 20 volt, you can just walk around and shoot in screws, makes life a lot easier. Now, the only thing I'm going to upgrade on this, instead of just putting a screw on here, driving it in, even though that doesn't seem like it takes a long time, when you start doing full rooms, all that time adds up. They make a uh, component that goes on to the end of here, and you can do collated screws through here. You can use, I think they're like Senko brand, and they have other brands listed on the DeWalt site. And they're probably asking like, why I didn't go with the Senko? If I like Senko, why didn't I just go with like their cordless version? Well, the problem is, and this is just me, I'm trying to save the most amount of money, I always try to, you know, make my dollar stretch farther. Well, if I buy a battery that's only for Senko, it's only for that one tool. I can't use it on any of my DeWalt's. And this is what stops me from trying out a lot of, say, Milwaukee or other brands. Do I like other brands? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, I like Milwaukee, I like Bosch, Makita, and all those. But it's hard to, unless you have a good chunk of money, where your business is making a lot of money, it's hard to have like several platforms because when a battery goes bad in a couple of years, then you're spending a good chunk of money to replace that battery for a single tool. Whereas if I get a battery for this, which I did, I could use it on all my DeWalt uh, tools. But yeah, I would like to try you know, some Milwaukee and other stuff. Yeah, if I get some extra money, yeah, maybe I'll get one, but this is why I always end up getting DeWalt. It's not that I'm a fanboy of DeWalt or anything, it's just trying to keep more money in my wallet. So one thing here is, like I said, I'll buy the attachment. When you have collated screws, you just hold this in, uh, hold in the on, and you just keep flying through it. You can get through a sheet in no time. Whereas if you have to put it on here, you gotta make sure it's perfectly centered, put it in, and one thing I will say I can tell right off the bat I like with this, it's kinda like one of my old uh, uh, dry, the drywall screw guns. It's ergonomic to fit around your hand like this. So when you go push it in, you have a good center of gravity, you're gonna be straight. Some, uh, even just using a regular drill or screw gun, if you're holding it down here, when you go to do it, you might be off a little, so then the head of the screw might stick out. So this looks like it'd be really good for, you know, fast driving all the screws in. And there's different settings on here, like your depth adjustments, and then you can lock it out as well. And a reverse, so everybody's gonna make a mistake at some point, so you can reverse out your screw. But like I said, the other attachment I'm gonna show self-feed screws into here, and uh, just fly right through a sheet of drywall. Now we'll be starting that next week. I'm not sure when I'll do the video on it, but you'll see that pretty soon. So that's the uh, drywall set from DeWalt. If you have any questions about it, I just kind of talked about like what models. For the most part, we've all seen a lot of this especially like a cutout tool. It's not rocket science. It cuts out receptacles and stuff, but I'll show you first, you know, in hand, how it works when I start doing some of the drywall so you can see how all these, except for the impact gun, of course, you know, are basically the tools you need for drywall. So I hope you, hopefully you enjoyed this little unboxing here. I always like getting new tools. I need to start showing more of what I do, but it's been, 
it's been kind of hectic lately, so I just gotta make time to film some of that. But we'll be having a drywall video real soon. I'll show you some of the tips that I do and different techniques as well. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. See you later, guys.